Adventures with Superman, episode 10, I guess season finale, because I don't think we're getting another episode after this, and it's also Thanksgiving, <laughs> Son, Sons of the Fathers, Sins of the Fathers, The Fathers Returns, Hearts of the Fathers, and it's your boy Icon with a DC TV review, and ladies and gentlemen, I believe we've reached the end of the first season of My Adventures with Superman, and this was good. Uh, I apologize for the late review. I know, like I know the show, the, the episode aired last week, but let's just say I'm I'm hopefully you know through my YouTube channel things grow to the point where I can do this full time. So now <laughs> talking about this episode, this particular episode, and the final episode. Like I said, it's Thanksgiving, and it starts with Clark having a dream about the Kryptonian invasion because he's still afraid of the Kryptonian invasion. You know, he wakes up and he's just like all shook up, whatever. So you know, him, Lois, and Jimmy, and everything. They they go down. They're on their way to work. They're going to the Daily Planet. They're talking about Thanksgiving and how they're going to spend Thanksgiving with the Kents. And then Clark, you know, he says to Lois and Jimmy, he's just like, Hey, listen, guys, I need you to help me find the general because if my people, if Krypt if Krypton if Kryptonians are going to take over the world, I guess I need to talk to him or he needs to know what's going on. It was never actually clear why he wanted to talk to the general because it basically just said like, it, it was like the way Clark made it seem, he was just like, oh, he needs to find the general because the general has the answers as far as like what happened to him. But I'm like, shouldn't you be telling the general that there's an invasion coming? <laughs> like, I don't know. Was, but anyway, so they, they, they advised against it. They're just like, no, don't do that. And then he was just like, oh, I have to, you know, like I need to know the truth or whatever. And he's like, the general has the answer as well. I'm like, what about the invasion? So then he he goes, you know, he goes and buys them breakfast, and then that's when Lois and Jimmy were talking, and they were just like, well, shit, you know, we can't let him talk to the general, but then, then Jimmy was just like, oh, but did he even see the spear that had the evil Superman, and then Lois was like, no, and don't tell him, and then Jimmy was just like, I thought we weren't keeping secrets and everything, so they ended up keeping the secret, and they go to the Daily Planet. When they get to the Daily Planet, good old Perry White's there, and then, you know, he, and this was funny, because Perry told them dead ass, he was like, yo, y'all some of the worst interns <laughs> I've ever seen in my entire life. He said, and what we do with bad interns is, we give them jobs. <laughs> because you guys like they wrote the story about Superman saving Metropolis and Perry White made Jimmy Lois and Clark actual I mean is is Jimmy really a reporter or did he just get hired to be the photographer like I don't see him being a reporter doing like bylines and like interviewing people so anyway but you know so they have real jobs now. <laughs> like they have real jobs they're being celebrated by everybody and then after that they're just like okay now go enjoy your Thanksgiving so Clark and Lois they're on their way to the Kent farm so they could enjoy Thanksgiving Jimmy was on his way with them and then Perry White I said, hold on, Olsen. He's like, me and you need to talk about Flame Bird. And more on that later. So <laughs> they get to they get to the cat farm. Like they're sitting there, they're talking. Lois says that, you know, she was like, you know what, Clark, I will help you find the general if that's what you want. And then her father was supposed to be coming to Thanksgiving too to celebrate with them because she did invite her dad. And kudos to the egregious, because in the episode nine episode, he put in the comment section that he thought that the general, like the general that's been trying to kill Superman along with Mandy would be, you know, Lois's father. And when he said that in the comment, I was like, oh shit, like I actually missed that one. And you know, shame on me, because you usually like I'm better at picking up on those things. And I'm, I'm the one who's been bringing up the fact that they've been, men they've been slowly like mentioning her father, like just like low-key bringing up her father. And it never dawned on me <laughs> that the general that's trying to kill him was her dad. I don't know, maybe because of how he looks versus how she looks, I need to see the mom and, like, where's Lucy? But like I said, kudos to the egregious for that one. So then, you know, and of course, when he opens the door, the general who's been trying to kill him this whole season is Lois's daddy. So now it's awkward as fuck. And, <laughs> and Lois, Lois doesn't know yet that Clark knows that he's the general that's been trying to kill him with Task Force X. So now the dad is basically just doing the typical dad thing, which is screening Clark because he's dating his daughter. And he's just like, but, but the general's not stupid because while he's talking to Clark from a dad perspective, there's a part of him that's just like, yo, bro, he's like, don't I? know you he was like do you always wear glasses and it's like how tall are you and he's like where have i seen you before like he knows he's superman because he's been studying that face for like the last like 20 some 20 something years so he knows superman but he's just trying to put the pieces together because again like they say the reason why the glasses always works whenever superman or supergirl wear them is because when you see someone bumbling like clark kent your mind will not allow you to accept the fact that this is the man of steel so they're having thanksgiving dinner and then jimmy shows up and then everybody's talking to jimmy because then Clark is just like, yo, Jimmy, the je that's the general. Like, Lois's dad is the general general. And he's like, well, did you tell Lois? And he's like, no, I can't tell her that. And then Lois is just like, oh, you know, we can't tell Clark about the spear and everything. And this is this whole big thing. And then 
finally the Kryptonian spaceship ended up coming alive and then that caused like like a massive panic and grounds for ground zero because there was a moment where like they ran out into the field and when like when the ship came when the ship came because earlier in the episode Superman did go he did go back to his ship and he went to go speak to his daddy and when he went to go speak to his daddy his dad actually slowly started learning like English because he was just like hello my son he said that to him at the end but he was tell but he was telling his holographic daddy which he still doesn't know that's his daddy he said that you guys are trying to invade earth and I can't let it happen I can't let you invade and like destroy my family the ship ended up coming to life the portal ended up opening into the sky and the Kryptonian invasion began and all the weapons and all the robots and everything started flying through when Clark and Lois and Jimmy went outside that's when the ball fell out you know fell onto the floor and then Clark actually saw the images of him being evil and killing everybody and then they tried to tell him they're just like Clark but you're not evil like you know you're a good person that's not you and then Superman was just like damn it he was just like you know I gotta save the day and I gotta be the example and not be the person who everybody thinks that I'm supposed to be which is a weapon and a killer so Superman flies into action the general calls Mandy and he's like bitch it's ground zero out here <laughs> he's like you know come with all the drones and the tanks and me and this was so stupid because your man called Amanda Waller like 17 times and she never responded she never answered and he just kept calling kept calling and he took the Omega gun and he was trying to stop the invasion himself so then Jimmy ends up you know he ends up running out of nowhere because Jimmy had the spear and then some of the robots ended up chasing Jimmy and then when Jimmy dropped the spear the kryptonite came out when the kryptonite came out that's what activated this thing where it shut down all the machines so then that's when Jimmy realized that the kryptonite he said because when, because when the kryptonite came out of the spear after Clark saw the holographic images of Superman being a being an evil person being a bad guy destroying and killing people the kryptonite fell out and then Clark was affected by the kryptonite so then they were just like well shit Jimmy figured out that the kryptonite is what was killing Clark and then he used the kryptonite against the robots so Jimmy's MVP in this thing I mean I always say at the end of every single you know like season finale series finale I always ask like who's your MVP my MVP of this whole season is Jimmy Olsen and that shouldn't be <laughs> yeah, but like he dead ass like MVP this but he MVP this puppy more on that later so then, so then you know so then you know he tells Lois you know he's just like oh now that we know that kryptonite can destroy the machines he's like i'm gonna use it to stop the machines from invading lois is like no clark i love you and i'm just like it's only been like a month you know <laughs> but then he's just like no lois he's like i gotta do what i gotta do so he flies into the ship you know he ends up fighting off the robots he takes the kryptonite punches a hole into the machine he puts the kryptonite into the machine and then the kryptonite ends up destroying the machine the the spaceship like the portal had opened to where the invaders were going to come in but because the kryptonite ruined that the portal closed and then when the portal closed a piece of the alien spaceship got cut off and it landed onto the floor just like what happened 20 years ago with the general so then the invaders ended up getting sucked back into wherever the hell they were superman saved the day and then his daddy ended up putting him in a pod and sent him back to earth and then he told him he was like hello you know like you're my son you know whatever and i love you so clark you know and it's like clark never even touched that he would, like he didn't even say like dad you know like you're my father like clark never said anything about that which i thought was weird so he crash landed back on earth you know lois is there with him the general tried to kill superman man again he put the gun to his face and Lois was like no daddy I love him. and I'm just like does he know that Superman is Clark now because you was like you just introduced Clark Kent as your boyfriend and now you're like all up on Superman like hugging him with his arm around your neck even earlier when Lois was talking to her dad about her being a reporter he looked at one of the articles that she did and he was like oh you're a fan of Superman and the Superman's a menace and everything and it's just like he didn't have a problem with her being all up on her like that was weird and then she, she was like crying and shit she was just like daddy if you do she's like if you love me you won't kill Superman man because he's the man that saved us all whatever and then he was just like fine Lois and he turned around and he dipped like you know like it wasn't even a conversation like he just dipped and I thought like Lord knows where he went and then Amanda Waller calls she's like general what's your location he was like bitch the threat is gone <laughs> and then, like he hung up the phone and he was like oh false alarm and she's like what do you mean then he hung up on her and dipped like, like he just dead ass like just, he, he disappeared on some Batman shit so then everybody gets up they go back into the house they end up having Thanksgiving dinner they're celebrating Thanksgiving together and then you know when everybody's just like the world is safe you know we know who the general is now like everything's hunky-dory we got jobs we're reporters and everything then mrs kent she was just like hey jimmy she's like didn't you say you had something you wanted to tell us and then in the most baller way possible jimmy was just like yes i sold flame bird for 5.6 million dollars and now i'm extremely filthy rich 
pass the yams, please. And also, might I add, I'm rich, bitch. And I was just like, see, this is why Jimmy's the MVP. Like, he just did it, like, so casually. And you knew something happened because he had on different clothes when he went to the Ken household because now he got baller money and he could buy, like, real suits. And everybody at the table just looked at him like, what the fuck? Is like, then all, I just, all I heard was, I'm rich, bitch. You know, so I'm looking forward for season two just to see Jimmy, just to see Jimmy strut his millions around. Like, it's like he doesn't even have to work at the Daily Planet now, which is, like, ridiculous. He should be running Flame Bird for the Daily Planet. But I don't know. Like, it, it, it was funny. And that, that's how we ended it with the camp family with Jimmy being Jimmy being filthy, stinking, unnecessarily rich. And then finally, in a post credit scene, after the spaceship got destroyed and the portal closed, a representative from the invasion that was trying to happen, I guess he was like, you know, like the right hand person. He went over to his general and he was like, General, I found a small planet, you know, that um, is a little rebellious, but it's prime for the taking. And then the person who I guess was their general, he said, it doesn't matter if they're prime for the taking or if they're rebellious or not. At the end, they will all kneel. And, and you know, and I was speaking to Justin and Justin immediately said that was odd. And I, I don't know. I mean, because he said the line about they will kneel like kneel before Zod, there's a lot of evidence to support that that is Zod. I mean, I didn't feel like it was Zod just because of the costume and how, he, you know, how he looked. And then we've been seeing multiple Supermen this whole time. So, but then again, he didn't show his face. So if that was another Superman from an alternate Earth, why would he just not show his face? It could be Zod. I don't know. But he also did have like the Kryptonian triangle symbol on his suit. But forget about the Zod thing. Did anybody notice that the person who said to, we'll, we'll just say it's Zod for the sake of saying it the person who said to zod like oh i found a planet and you know they're prime for the taking did anybody notice that he had the brainiac symbol like on his head so i'm like clearly that was brainiac and we're getting brainiac we're potentially getting zod and they've rushed every superman villain <laughs> they could, we got everybody except lex luthor i didn't even see like people were talking about lex luthor too like i didn't see a lex luthor reference in the episode unless i missed something if i missed that share that in the comment section if i missed a lex luthor reference but that was how the season ended and for the love of god thank you for tuning in so my adventures of superman is a yay we give it a yay and i'm looking forward for season two i hope the, i hope they continue season two and i hope the show continues because i like the characters i like where everything is going you know i'm looking forward to seeing like lucy you know lucy lane at some point i'm looking forward to seeing lana because when they were having thanksgiving dinner and mrs kent was pointing out how proud of her son that she actually was and she was showing all of his pictures on the wall there was a picture of him with like some random girl and i was like is that lana you know so to have lana come in i think would be cool like i said having like lucy lane come in i think would be cool lois's mom for christ's sake like that would be dope and i said and more superman villains because like i said the show was dope. if i could say one bad thing about the season it was the fact that they rushed their love story because they've only known each other for like a month and a half and already they're like i love you will i love you and i'm like yeah, i don't even know each other yeah, i talk about love and you know and then the fact that and it's like they rushed the villain like they this is the one time where a show can rush the villains and it just didn't bother bother me because the way they introduced these villains was cool and they introduced them in a new modern way for a new generation so i'm okay with that but there was a point where i was like damn episode three we already getting this person episode four we getting this person. i was like y'all rushed the shit out of a lot of villains but it was like i ain't got no complaints i ain't got no complaints about that but the love story yeah you need to tone that down a little bit anyway share your questions comments and concerns down below and we will continue to talk about it hopefully jimmy also well jimmy gonna have like 15 girlfriends and <laughs> that because he's rich now but share your questions what did you think about the first season of my Adventures of Superman. Did you love? Did you hate it? Is it a yay, a nay, or an okay? And where do you think things were going to go in season two? And if you want things to continue for season two, even if you want to see season two, check out my other reviews because Harley Quinn is up on the channel as well. You know, we got Harley Quinn going strong. I'm going to do some other stuff as far as like my what to watch series because there are things that I've been watching on Netflix and on other social media platforms. So we're going to do some random stuff and I review some random TV shows and movies here and there as we roll on for more DC goodness because for the love of God, where the hell is Doom Patrol? I needs me my Doom Patrol and I'm still looking out for that Young Justice Season 5. So that was it, everybody. So thank you for tuning in for everybody that watched, you know, my reviews for My Adventures of Superman. Up, up, and away as always. I look forward to hearing from you all. Don't forget to hit the like button, the notification button, because apparently that's how my channel will grow. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Up, up, and away to infinity and beyond. Until next time, for Season 2 of My Adventures of Superman, I'm Elvis. Yeah!